so hello and if you can see me properly then welcome back to another video now i've come out tonight the wind is absolutely howling but i'm going to be throwing a few lures and i'm going to see if i can find a couple of squid now i did come out a couple of nights ago and the weather was torrential rain i got absolutely drenched i was here for no longer than half an hour it was so so rough i could barely drop a lure it was that windy now the wind has dropped a little bit but it's still gusting at probably i'd say 40 mile an hour um, we've got a consistent 25 mile an hour from the southwest i'm hoping most of it's going to be behind me but we'll just see how we get on one side of the pier here is probably going to be a bit of a write-off um, there's a lot of weed in the water floating about but i've come out nonetheless to give it a go um, last time i was here i actually managed to pick up a really nice sized squid so i'm hoping there's going to be a few few about tonight eating size ones would be ideal because that's what i'm after um, but you never know until you get a lure in the water so i'm going to start fishing straight away we'll see what we can find so this is going to be where i'm going to be doing most of my fishing into this evening because the wind's slightly behind me a little bit of a crosswind now i'll try and keep the camera sh uh, shielded from the wind as best as i can like i was saying i did come out the other night and it was really really windy now what i had to do is um go down to just a single jig rig but i actually had to take three of these little bullet weights these are all nine gram each so we got about 30 grams on there this lure is 20 grams so we got 50 grams all together and i needed this to get down into the water because the wind was just completely blowing the lure it was virtually unfishable so i'm going to keep that on tonight for the extra weight just fish the one jig this is a berkeley um, egi master 21 gram with a rattle um, we're going to drop that down and see what we can find so you can probably still hear the wind howling if i turn the camera around you'll definitely hear it now we are forecast rain as well so we've got it all coming tonight but i'm just hoping that i am actually going to get away with fishing because the other night it was virtually impossible let that lure sink all the way to the bottom and it should get there just fine because with that added weight it's going to drift a little bit in the water but it should sink virtu uh, virtually straight down now when it's as rough as it is tonight you do get a lot of weed in the water see weed to my right hand side in the harbour there and all of that drifts into here so that can be a bit of an issue and I'm into my first squid there we go not a bad size that hopefully I can get it up come on oh he's only just hooked there we go that's actually a decent size that happy days so there we are third cast in and we got our first squid taken on the trusty rattle jig it comes off there we go and that's a lovely size that good eating size about a foot long brilliant start third cast in first squid Check out the eyes on those bad boys. We've just got that rain coming down now. That's a great start. Hopefully we can get a few more. Now it's definitely paid to have that extra weight on there tonight to get that lure right to the bottom. And it's also worth having a lure with a rattle in as well because when it's this rough, I mean, I'm not too sure to be completely honest whether water clarity makes a difference with squid fishing, but uh, Certainly having that rattle in there is going to attract the squid to it that little bit more. And it's just started to rain as well, so I'm really hoping it doesn't pour down. I don't mind a bit of drizzle, and I'm in again. Or am I snagged? No, I'm snagged. Oh, bugger. Oh, I got it back. Yes. That took some doing, and I was just thinking to myself, oh my god, if I lose that, I'm not sure if I've got any bullet weights with me left. 
but thankfully managed to get it back one of those spikes is bent out just push that back in that was fortunate well there comes the rain it's pouring down now I've literally just put the lure in the water just gonna leave it hanging there see if we get any takes I'm just gonna shout myself outside this rain hopefully it doesn't last too long well that's what I'm dealing with now bloody hell it is pouring down and it's also dead as well so I really don't know how long I'm gonna stay for the weather's horrendous the fishing's not great I'll give it another 15 minutes I think providing this rain does stop in that time but my god it's been difficult well this is pretty ridiculous now it's absolutely pouring down I'm soaking wet I've only had one squid it may be time to pack up and leave and come back another day this just really isn't great So I've got the main body of my squid here and I'm just going to start by cleaning it up a little bit. So I'm going to take that end bit off and then on here you can see this is all just sinew. Now you can just scrape the back of the knife along it and get the worst of it off. Now it isn't a necessity to take the skin off a squid. Um, a lot of the Italian cooking that actually they leave the skin on especially when they're stuffing the squid and then roasting them but I've decided to take it off now that's most of the sinew off there so all I'm going to do next is just slice it lengthways like that and then we've got the inside here which you can see we'll scrape all of this out And then we'll just give that one final rinse and it will be ready to cook. So here we have our lovely bit of squid and very simply I'm just going to gently score it. Now I'm just cooking this as it is today, I'm not breadcrumbing it or anything like that. So I'm just going to gently score that, you don't want to go all the way through the squid. There we go and then all I'm going to do cut it in half and then just cut sort of triangles like that and then the same with the other the other side
Now, if this squid was any bigger, I would have tenderized it. However, you can just about get away with, with ones this size. So, hopefully it's gonna be nice and tender. Let's get it in the pan. We'll see how it is. So for the sauce, all I've got in here is some fresh ginger with some fresh red chili. And very simply, I need to open this. Just got a regular size tablespoon here. Gonna go two tablespoons, soy sauce. And then this one is sweet soy. So a lot thicker. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of that in. Got some white wine vinegar. And we'll go one tablespoon of that. Or you can use Chinese rice wine vinegar, or whatever. Sesame oil. One tablespoon of that. And then one tablespoon of sweet chili sauce just to sweeten it a little. And then I've got half a lime here. So the lime goes in, we'll give it a mix up. And that there is gonna be our sauce. So I've got the pan on, heating up, ready to get that squid in. Now what I should say is I actually added half a tablespoon of fish sauce to that, um, that dressing as well. Um, I just noticed that I left that out. So half a table of fish sauce also goes in. We've got the pan on, squid's over there. So I'm gonna get it in, flash fry it. I've got some rice to go with it. I'm gonna add some broccoli to the squid, squirt a bit of lime on the top um, to finish it. And there we go. Apologise for the uh, noise of the fan, but obviously you need that on at the moment. Now, ideally, when you're cooking on gas, you can get this pan super hot. I'm on an uh, induction, and although it still gets hot, it would just take us a little longer than if you were cooking on gas. It literally takes 30 seconds if you're on gas. But just keep that squid moving about. That there, ready to go. So I've got my rice here, which I cooked just before, just heated up again. We get that one there. Again, we've got our lovely squid. Bit of sesame oil, just a drop more on that, and a lovely dipping sauce. A 
And that there is it. Ready to eat. Well, that's it. Easy peasy. Now, all we got to do is give it a taste test. That's actually more tender than I was expecting it to be. As I said, when you get the uh, the thicker squid, the bigger ones with the thicker bodies, they tend to be a little bit chewy sometimes. However, that is absolutely perfect. Any bigger, I reckon you would have had to tenderize it a little bit. Chili and fresh ginger. That really is. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. Now, last night's trip was horrendous. The weather was terrible. Um, I only had the one squid in the end. I lost a couple of fish. I think I lost two in the end. But uh, apart from that, it was it was so dead. And I actually stayed there for a good hour and a half. Um, it started to absolutely pour down. I got soaked. Decided to stay anyway because I was wet already. I may as well stay out. However, it was really, really dead. So, um, yeah, in the end, I admitted defeat and left. And seeing as I just got the one squid, I thought it would be nice to do a little cook up. Nothing fancy, nothing special. But you see how easy squid fishing is. And it is really, really easy to cook as well. So if you ever have any spare time, you want to go out, buy a couple of squid jigs. You can use a normal spinning rod. Go to your local harbour or pier. You can take a light with you, um, drop a squid jig down and see if you can find some. Really is tasty. So fresh as well. Loads of flavour, bit of a chilli kick. Absolutely beautiful. Now for me, when I cook squid, I generally tend to just use the, uh, the mantle, uh, the main hood of the body. All the tentacles and stuff I freeze down and I keep for fishing, whether it's conga fishing or bream or anything like that. Um, so that's what I've done. I've put the tentacles into a little bag. I'll freeze those down, add them to the rest I've got. But obviously you can cook them if you like. For me personally, it's just it's a, it's a texture thing for me. The tentacles, I prefer the hood, of, uh, like the, the mantle of the body. But obviously you can eat them. Now, let's get a bit more of that on there. So I'm going to finish this lovely squid meal off and leave that video there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, it was a very brief session out with not a lot happening. Um, so it was nice to do a little cook up at the end. The squid's less than 24 hours old, so you don't get much fresher than that. If you'd like to give it a go um, and you want to check out any more squid fishing, there's loads of squid fishing videos on my channel. There's a couple of cook ups on there as well. Um, there's also a video of a two jig squid rig as well. So um, yeah, if you're interested, please go check that out. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a like or a comment. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.